around like this, uh, this way, yeah. Because because what I want you to do is to be able to step into this mm -hmm. because that's going to be your circle of excellence. Nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now this one's going to be different be because here I'm accessing a past uh, skill set that is wired that she wants easy access for. Okay. In your case, in your case was different. So so this is where it gets really technical. All right. So, uh, so I'm gonna have you stand over here, please. Mm -hmm. I know this seems a little, a little awkward, but, but just trust me. Okay. All right, now, so what I want you to do, Donna, mm -hmm. is to close your eyes, mm -hmm. and I want you to go back in time. Your unconscious mind is not bound by time, space, or matter. Go back to the number one peak experience that you can remember in your past where you were like at a seven, you were killing it. Uh, excuse me, at a 10, you were killing it. Go back to that experience. Do you have it in mind? Because you may be circling through several. Okay, I, I have one. Okay, be there now. Describe for me a little bit about what, what kind of speech this was. Where were you? What was it about? Give me a little bit of detail. It was a high school contest, and I okay. was doing a humorous speech, and the judge was really interested in my speech and was okay. laughing throughout. Okay. Now, what makes this one unique, special and unique? It's my first real contest attempt. Okay. And I'm just curious, why did you pick this one? Because and, I, I and, won. And, okay. <laughs> and, and not one where it's like you had standing ovation from everybody, and and you walk off stage like a, feeling like a rock star. Mm -hmm. Something like that, on a smaller scale, yes. Okay, it, or, or do you still feel that, that that first one that you chose is, is a number 10? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So what I'm doing here is, uh, she's got a skill set that she's built uh, over uh, a period of time that, uh, that I want to access, but if she picks that one here, Tracy, I'm going to go with that because, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to generalize it and hypnotize her into tying all those, all those other uh, 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 peak experiences into one, kind of like what I did with you with the timeline. It's like, like coalescing all the, the, the strengths, resources uh, into one. Okay? So be there now. Take a deep breath. Be that Donna from the past. Notice looking out through your eyes notice how the audience looks be aware of what you were wearing that day if if you can easily recall it be aware of the temperature in the room notice what it feels like to be in your body in this kind of state notice where you feel like a lightness you feel like like you can do no wrong it's like you you got the audience and it's like they're hanging on every word and and you're just on a roll mm -hmm. notice what that feels like okay and put your arms by your side please imagine that I could turn a knob and I could intensify this even more this sensation this feeling all these sensations Everything that's going on inside of you, imagine that I could ramp it up if I turn the knob the way. And now what I want you to do is to step over here. Okay. okay. Clear your mind. <laughs> Go back over here. And now what I want you to do is to picture a color. Picture a circle, picture your favorite color. What is it? Uh, pink. Pink, like a bright, hot bright pink? pink? Yes. Okay, great. All right. Mm -hmm. So, so, uh, so I'm going to ask you to go back into that experience that we were working with, mm -hmm. the, the, the one where you're at the high school. Okay. And describe for me, in recalling it, what was that, what do you feel inside? If I was in your body, what would I be feeling? Joy. What else? Happiness. What else? Success. What else? Achievement. How far uh, back is that? Um, How long ago did this experience take place? 
45 years ago. Okay. Wow. Well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so notice how you can easily access it, even though it's been such a long time. Mm -hmm. It's already wired. That's what I'm talking about. It's it's in your neurology. Mm -hmm. and, and it's just going there at will that automatically puts you into that peak state, into the afternoon uh, mm -hmm. peak state. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So again, go back into time, be inside that experience, be that Donna from the past. Okay. Take a deep breath. Breathe in pink. Breathe, breathe in that pink. Just feel yourself. Feel your, your lungs, your body with that pink. That soft, soft, gentle pink energy. And notice how it even enhances that state. Okay, come over here. Imagine your, your pink circle. Okay. Imagine that flowing, flowing up through that pink circle, up into your body. That's right. Okay, open your eyes. Step back over here. And clear your mind. Think of white. Give me your phone number backwards. Nine, three, eight, six, two, three, eight, something like that. <laughs> okay, all right, good. So what we're gonna do now, Donna, is you've got the, the, that peak experience from the past, but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a layer, and the layer that we're gonna add is the wisdom, the depth, and the accumulative resources that you've accumulated in a 45-year span that separates you and that younger Donna from the past. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So so, uh, so I want you to put your hands out like this. Okay. And imagine that we could create a symbol. It can be an animal, a plant, a person, a color, a shape that is symbolic of, of what I just said. Mm -hmm. What would it be? A star. Okay, great. <laughs> great. Perfect, perfect metaphor. Mm -hmm. So close your eyes, see this star, and now bring it up into your heart, just like that. And imagine bringing that, that star energy into you that is symbolic of all that wisdom, the depth, the experiences, the knowledge, the shared experiences with, with other human beings. I mean, there's a lot there. Mm -hmm. Notice what that feels like in your body. What does that feel like? Describe what it's like. Like it belongs. Uh -huh. What else? If I was in your body, what would I be feeling? What would let me know is like, ah, this belongs. That there's a peace. What else? There's um, an acceptance of it all. Mm -hmm. and there's a joy in okay. knowing it. Okay. All right, so now let's bring that over here. Okay. And, and just imagine it flowing down, flowing down to, to the pink light and then the pink light flowing up. So it's like we're mixing. Mm. It's like we're, we're stacking. Okay. And, and you already are sounding different, you already are <laughs> standing different. How do you feel? I'm not as shaky as I was. Right. On a scale of one to ten, how do you feel? Um, maybe eight and a half now. Okay. All right. So, uh, so let's let's see you speak. Okay. 